So we're on farm here this morning to give an update on one of our farms and also to run through daily jobs that are needed to be done on the system for a robotic grazing farm. Okay, so the first thing we're looking at here is to see if we need a filter change. So you can see filter one is dirty. So it's just a matter of unscrewing the cap and changing out the filter. So this is the milk filter now after eight hours of milking and the wash on the robots. So you can see it's quite clean. So the pre-treatment brushes on the robots do quite a good job of cleaning off all the teats before milking. It stops a lot of dirt getting passed in and getting caught in the milk filter. So a new filter is on and changed. So just a matter of putting it back into the housing and clamp that shut again. Once we have that done, come over and tick our box. And now our filter is ready to be used after the next wash. So our next job then on the farm is to come into our T4C package on the computer. Take a look at our collect list which is showing up any late cows for milking. So typically on this list you'd like to see 10% or less of the herd on, on the report. So here we have 23 which is a bit less than 10% of the herd. It's pretty good, we have very few cows over 18 hours. So a couple of those cows that are gone over 18 hours are well into lactation and getting close to drying off so their milk yield is dropping fairly low. So one of the most important jobs to do here is to wash around the robots. So we need to be able to keep the arms clean, keep the lasers clean, cups clean, brushes clean. So stop any spread of my side or something like that. Also keep the machines in good order, keep them a bit more reliable, keep them working in good, or good order. So washing the robot arm then just to keep any loose dirt off it. So do this on every robot twice a day. Helps to keep them in good working order. Quite a simple job. Quick, easy to do. So also clean the lasers with a cleaning fluid. Make sure that it's able to pick up all the teeth without causing any failures on cows. So once we have the rough start off it, we can get a bit of our blue tissue and get our cleaning fluid. We wet down the tissue and clean off each laser screen. You can see neither of them are quite bad and they've been milking all overnight. So in order to actually clean the laser, just to kind of get in your tissue, give it a quick rub, and then do the second one. So two robots more or less ready to go for the day. So another one of your daily jobs is to check to make sure all the robot arms are calibrated and in the right position. You can see here robot one is slightly out of position compared to robot two. So lined up perfectly underneath the jetters, whereas robot one is slightly off-centered. So this will result in poor attachment, it'll re result in poor cleaning, so it's quite easy to fix it. So all we have to do is do a calibration of the robot arm. So to calibrate the robot arm we have to put the robot out of operation. And then we just have to press calibration robot arm and start. So the arm will pull itself up towards the cabinet. Once it gets to the cabinet, it'll reset its home position and you can accept the new coordinates and put it back into operation. It takes around a bit of a minute to do this job. So the arm is after making it all the way up to its home position here at the front of the cabinet. We can hit accept, go back to the jetters. Once it reaches the jetters, we can put it back into operation and it's ready to make the next cow. Freshly calibrated and ready to go for another couple of days. So now we're on to our grazing jobs, so we have to move our strip wires. So this is our B block here. Cows come in and graze this last night. Due to come back in here now at 10 o'clock this morning. So this is the first grazing of the B block in this paddock. So it's not a bad graze out, but it's not a great graze out either. So once we move this wire on, we'll get them slightly less, less now in the next block and should get a bit tighter of a graze out. So that's our B wire move now for this morning. That's what's done in this paddock until this time tomorrow morning. So cows will start to come in here at 10 o'clock now this morning and keep coming here until 6 o'clock. At 6 o'clock then they go to the C paddock which is the other side of the farm. So this is our C block here on the farm. Cows come out here at 6 p.m. every evening and stay out here until 2 a.m. every morning and 
are due to be gone out of here by 10 o'clock this morning so we still have about 20, 22 or 3 cows left so quite a low number of cows should all be gone fairly soon so we can push them back into the shed and move our wire for the next break so you can see as soon as I came to sweep cows out of the paddock they all started to move there's our 20, 25 cows gone back in towards the astronauts now they'll get milked and either head on out to A or wait around for the next while and head to B so most of them cows will go to A and stay there for the next couple of hours so that's our C wire done for tonight so our cows are due to come back out here now at 6pm this evening so this is a slightly lower cover of grass getting a better graze out nice and close to the yard, you can see the yard up there at the top so cows are due to go back out of here in towards the robots after 2am this in the, tonight so you can see here nearly all of our cows have been gone into the, to the yard into the wars the robots there are one or two cows left standing here in the pass so I'll sweep them in now and that's the job's done for this morning so you can see now that's all the job's done now this morning so a little under an hour for 300 cows one man so this evening now I'll have to come in and do our A wire, which is over the other side of the farm. Come in, wash around the robots again, and clean our lasers. Do a quick inspection of each robot to make sure they're all okay. And move our A wire. So I should do this evening now in about 30 minutes, 30 to 40 minutes. So that's leaving us about an hour and a half per day for 300 cows. So to give a brief update on the farm here at the moment, so the cows are currently yielding about 22.5 kilos of milk per cow per day. They're milking about 1.9 times per day on average per cow. So some cows set to a once a day treatment due to low milk production getting laid into lactation. So the astronauts were placed into this pasture here, which is where the parlour used to be. You can see the manger, where the manger used to be up along this wall. So it was. A so we have 300 cows milking here at the moment on four Lely Astronaut A4s. So we started up the Lely Astronaut A4s in spring 2017. The unit swing over. It was put installed in 2011, upgraded then in 2013, and replaced then in 2017. So in 2016 with the parlor, the average cell count of this farm was 176,000 for the year. In 2017, after one year with the robots, using the data from cell counters fitted to each robot and monitoring conductivity of cows, we managed to reduce that down to 132,000 of a cell count average for the year. And currently, the bulk tank is running at 80,000 to 60,000 of a cell count per lift. So it's quite a lot lower now than it would have been any other year purely down to using the data the robots are giving us in terms of conductivity of cows or high cell count cows and treating cows accordingly.